Hey folks, Sally Wicks here, psychologist, fellow long hauler and your long COVID coach. Continuing my series really, talking about polyvagal theory in more depth and its relevance to our long COVID recovery. And today I wanted to dive more into the vagus nerve and Stephen Porges's work. So you may have heard of Stephen Porges. He is a biological researcher and he has been researching the vagus nerve since the 1960s and looking in other mammals as well as in humans. And he is the one who put forward polyvagal theory in 1994, really to bring together all the research that he had been doing for 30 years that was making sense of the vagus nerve and the autonomic nervous system in a slightly different way than we had thought about it before. So you may have heard me talk about this before. Historically, the autonomic nervous system has been referred to as parasympathetic versus sympathetic. But Stephen Porges's work has really shown that actually there are two key branches to the vagus nerve and combined with the sympathetic nerve, that makes three systems and therefore polyvagal. So if if we look in more detail first at the vagus nerve and then at the sympathetic nerve and looking at this diagram here you've got the sympathetic nerve is the yellow one that runs along the spine and the vagus nerve is the other one there that has two different branches the ventral vagal which is that piece right at the top there that goes right across our chest and all the way into our face yes it is responsible responsible for our rest and digest and in long COVID that's sort of the holy grail that we're all trying to get to in order that we can facilitate our recovery. But it's a little bit more than that. It's actually our social engagement system. And so that means a number of important things. Firstly, social engagement in the extent and capacity that we do it as humans is somewhat unique. Animals don't have quite the same social engagement system, they don't have language, etc. Therefore, it means it's quite an elaborate endeavor. But it also means that if you are trying to expand your ventral vagal capacity, that spending time with trusted, close social connections can be helpful to that process. Process, but also the flip side that if you are so stuck in shutdown because of months and months and months of long COVID that it may be very hard for you to interact with other humans. Forcing yourself to try and do so may be counterproductive. Now the next if we're kind of taking this hierarchically in the way that Stephen Porges thinks about polyvagal theory he conceptualizes ventral vagal at the top then in the middle you've got your sympathetic so that is going to be going back to the sympathetic nerve, the yellow one that runs along the spine. And that is really responsible for activation or mobilization, which is our fight or flight. And this is very much a performance based state. So I know it's very easy in long COVID when we've been sick for such a long time to think of some of these states as negative, but in actuality, they all have a purpose and a function. And sympathetic activation has a wonderful purpose. If you are presenting on camera like I am today, it helps you to be focused. It helps you to think of your words. It's making my body do things so that I can be staying on task rather than being distracted by all of the things around me, which if I was just in rest and digest, I might be. And if we're doing important tasks, right, if you're a surgeon who's doing surgery, if you're a pianist who's doing a concert performance, if you're a pilot flying a plane, all of those things require focus and attention and sympathetic activation is going to help you get that. So it isn't necessarily a negative state to be in. But of course, if it goes on for a long period of time, that isn't what our body is used to sustaining. It's meant to be in short bursts. And that's where the dorsal branch of the vagus nerve comes in. And this is our shutdown or our immobilization. And fascinatingly, getting into attachment research, we see with tiny babies, they are born with just, 
sympathetic activation and the dorsal branch of the vagus nerve. They do not have the ventral branch of the vagus nerve organized yet. Any of you who have a baby or have had children or have contact with other babies, you will know that babies are capable of sympathetic activation, which is when they cry and try and communicate what they need. And unfortunately, if they are not provided with human contact during that time and their needs are not met, they will go into shutdown. So if you think about those babies that have been left in orphanages and have months and months and months without human contact, that word docile is sometimes used, that's because they went into sympathetic so many times, didn't get the ventral vagal soothing that they needed, and so their body just went into shutdown. They are quiet, they are seemingly calm, a little bit like that confusion that we have in long COVID, where very often we think we are calm when we are in shutdown. Because babies don't have the mechanism to put themselves in ventral, they only have those two choices. And if they don't get that wonderful human connection, meeting their needs, giving them food, changing their diaper, putting clothes on them, helping them to get to sleep, then they will go into shutdown. And it's a very similar mechanism with long COVID that our bodies have kind of lost the ability to get back to rest and digest because of the spike protein damage to the vagus nerve. And so it's really crucial that we have to do the work to get that vagus nerve to be activated and functioning fully again. We're in the midst of it. It can seem very overwhelming. And believe me, I was there and I went through it too. Even though you're seeing me fully recovered now and it may be hard to hold that in mind, I spent two plus years working on my nervous system trying to get it back to where it is now. And you can absolutely do that too. If you want more support and more instruction of a how to, I put everything together in an easy to access online course and there is more information for you below. I hope you have a tolerable week and I will see you again for another video. Take care.